Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I do want to apologize. We are uploading a bit behind on our schedule, but nonetheless, let's get into your reading Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for now all the way to September 2021 in regards to love and romance. Now your first card Gemini is the three of pentacles, the five of wands, the seven of wands, the Ace of Swords, the Devil card, and the Eight of Pentacles. Partner or person of interest is the Chariot, the Fool card, the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. All right. Let's see exactly what's going on with you, Gemini. Okay, so what they're saying here is that there is a need for balance in your life at the present time. You may feel like uh, the relationship or the person of your interest is coming off very strongly. Um, this could be uh, in regards to petty arguments. This could be like they're extremely defensive is what I'm feeling. Um, really putting the effort, you know, trying the best you can to understand them. Here's the thing, though. I see you guys really giving up on arguments just for the sake of the relationship or the connection. It's almost like I see you guys walking on eggshells to not, you know, I want to say to not create uh, bigger fights or arguments that are already there. Um, and it's almost the motion of like sweeping things under the rug. And with the seven of wands here, what they're telling you is there's a need for you to put your foot down. There's a need for you to speak your truth. With the ace of swords here, it's like not biting your tongue, being completely honest about your feelings and what you think of certain situations or debates that you're having with your partner. The devil card here signifies to me almost like, um, it's almost a feeling of, a toxic energy, you, being, you viewing the partner or the person of your interest as having or understanding that they have certain toxic traits. And one of them is the moment you open up or the moment you express certain things that they may be very um, emotional about, it's almost like they kind of flip the situation and try to make you feel um, like you're wrong for feeling how you're feeling, if that makes sense. It's almost like um, even trying to have conversations where um, you're trying to be honest at the same time. I see you kind of biting your tongue because they're very quick to turn the situation around and even sometimes making you feel like you're the one that's at wrong, even though they know they're the ones that um, are either not wanting to budge, they're not wanting to meet you halfway, they're not wanting to really put effort um, and what they're telling you here is, should you continue to sweep things under the rug, you're ignoring, um, by not addressing the issues now, you're ignoring those uh, issues that need to be resolved. Um, so again, it, it's being patient, but also not, not feeling like you're walking on eggshells. If you feel like you can't fully express yourself, to your partner or your person of interest, then what's really the point of being in that connection or in that relationship? If they often make you feel like you're wrong for feeling the emotions that you're feeling or for their actions, you know, whatever actions they're taking, that it's hurting your feelings and it's almost putting you in a situation where you feel like you're just, you know, sometimes even dropping conversations or walking away um, in a sense to kind of evade the situation from flaring up or getting into a bigger argument, you're doing a disservice to yourself, Gemini, because what they're saying here is, you know, again, if you continuously keep sweeping things under the rug, things will not be addressed until it gets to your boiling point where you just completely flip, flip on or flip off because of all this you know, anger or frustration that you're feeling. So the key here is going to be very important for you to be completely honest and speak up, stand your ground, even if you feel like, you know, they are kind of pulling away the moment you start to express how you're feeling or how they're making you feel. Um, 
don't bite your tongue out of fear that they're going to grow cold and distant. Because if that's the case, why do you really want them in your life? If they are invalidating how you're feeling or not addressing certain things or even trying to ignore the fact that you're bringing certain situations to the front line to try to figure it out or to get clarity on the situation and they're just like okay here you go again you know you're always finding reasons to argue you're always you know they flip it around and it's almost like you're kind of getting to the point of growing tired of it and i do see a bit of frustration here now how they're viewing the situation with the chariot cart and the full cart they know exactly what it is that they're doing gemini and um, for some of you this could even be manipulation like um the feeling of if they come off as making you feel like you are the one that's making them feel like they're being attacked or like they are being extremely judged or whatever the situation is they are playing the fool or the victim uh, role. And it is important for you to understand and to really pay attention to those red flags. The nine of wands does speak about wanting to give up on the situation or uh, wanting to embrace some type of um, wanting to embrace some type of desire or passion that they may be dealing with, um, which could then turn into the reason why you feel like they're being a bit distant or not as present. Um, with the Queen of Wands here and the Five of Swords, there could be a person that has their interest or that has recently captured their attention. And it's almost like with the Five of Swords, the desire to want to continuously keep blocking you or keep having arguments um, or even making up you know, scenarios or pushing your buttons so that you can go into this energy of creating petty arguments between each other only because it gives them enough time uh, to pull away almost like like I said the victim role uh, wanting to put energy and effort towards another person that currently has their attention so again Gemini pay attention to that um, if this is something that you're currently going through pay attention to those red flags because I feel you really putting effort trying to uh, solidify or trying to understand them more than anything but I feel like they're playing the, the the crazy role right the you're acting crazy you're acting out of character like this is all in your head Gemini but in reality they are aware that they're being sneaky that they're not being completely honest that they're kind of hot and cold um, playing that type of ping pong energy where they're not as present or not as communicating with you as they usually do. So pay attention to that. Very important. Uh, Gemini, I hope this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.